My saltwater aquarium is approaching its 3 year anniversary, so I figured we should take a closer look at it. I recently bought some new animals that will make this reef tank look even better. First up, let's check out these beautiful new clams I bought. My local fish store had a fun sale going on, so I figured I'd pick up two of these beauties. I've had a clam like this one in the past, but unfortunately it didn't live that long. It's worth knowing though that my tank wasn't that established as it is today, so that probably contributed to its short life. They say bigger clams are usually hardier, so let's hope these two do much better than the first one. Besides their beauty, they also provide another important benefit to a saltwater aquarium, namely natural filtration. Their superior filtering capabilities offer added stability and nutrient control in an aquarium system like this one. Excess nutrients lead to problems like algae growth or cyanobacteria blooms, which I'm currently experiencing in this aquarium. These things are conditions that ultimately affect the health of all inhabitants within the aquarium. Proper lighting is the most important parameter essential to the well-being of these clams. Tridacna clams not only filter nutrients from the water to satisfy their dietary needs, but they also employ algae cells within their mantle called zooxanthellae. These algae cells require light as well as nutrients from both the clam and the water to properly photosynthesize. The clam then utilizes the energy the algae cells produce to aid in its growth. One thing you really shouldn't do to a clam is glue it onto the reef. Clams have a piece of muscle that they use to attach themselves to a piece of rock or on the sand. Putting glue underneath the shell can result in the death of your clam. Just put them in a small cradle on the rock or in the sand or just purchase a special clam holder. Which one of these beautiful clams is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Besides these beautiful clams, I also purchased a chalice coral from the same store. One of my favorite corals is my Space Invader chalice. A long time ago, my local fish store fragged a massive colony of Bugatti chalice, which is one of my holy grail corals. This specific chalice features a beautiful range of colors from red to orange, blue and even some green. They are pretty expensive to purchase though, as this small piece cost me 200 bucks. It had been sitting in their sales tank for over a year, so I was confident enough that this is a pretty hardy piece. I really can't wait to see how this one will grow in my aquarium and see how the colors will develop. I've been posting some pictures on social media about my setup and a lot of people still seem to be wondering how I maintain this setup and what equipment is installed on it. So I figured let me just explain it to you again. My tank uses a heater, LED lighting, two power heads for flow, a surface skimmer and a dosing pump to supply the corals with enough calcium, magnesium and stable alkalinity levels, which they need to grow. There is no mechanical filtration on the aquarium. Basically natural processes that occur in the wild through beneficial bacteria and water chemistry is what my tank relies on in terms of filtration. In my opinion natural filtration is the way to go. I don't have an overflow or a sump attached to any of my systems. The only piece of equipment that you can consider as mechanical filtration is my surface skimmer. This small device skims off the top layer of the water, which normally your overflow would take care of. But like I said, I don't have one. The surface skimmer skims off the nasty, often referred to as an oily substance on your water called biofilm. It's basically a buildup of bacteria that doesn't do the tank any harm as far as I know. It just looks really nasty. The surface skimmer takes care of it without any problems. The tank is due for some maintenance soon, as you can see there's some algae on the sand and on the glass. I usually combine the sand cleaning with a small water change that I do every 2-3 to three weeks. Besides the new corals, I also wanted to show you something else. In one of my latest videos, the tour of all my aquariums, I filmed myself while wearing Fritz Aquatics coral glasses. I am absolutely stunned by how these glasses work. It filters out all the blue light and makes the corals look so vibrant. Let me show you a clip I filmed with my iPhone with the glasses in front of the camera, it's amazing. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this quick update on my 40 gallon reef tank. There are a lot of things happening in my fish room and I can't wait to show it all to you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.